Hey everyone, it's Christopher with Sony Insider, and it's great to be back here at the Sony Style Store in Atlanta, Georgia, my home away from home, covering the new bloggy line of HD video cameras. Um, we're very interested by these devices. Sony kind of made this play initially uh, last year with the Webby, which is very cool, and it got some attention, but unfortunately it was quickly overshadowed by products from Flip and Cisco and so forth. And uh, it's really interesting to see that Sony has responded with some interesting new features, such as 1080p and um, you know memory card capability, including standard digital, and so much more. So let's take a look at the body and uh, see what's. I was really excited to see the next generation of hockey camcorders for 2010, and I think Bloggy was one of the first that were announced um, at CES. It's got a larger and more updated optical sensor, and you know, of course, different firmware and an operating system in here, you know, to render much better video quality, including 1080p at 30 frames per second. Um, I mean, it's been very popular so far when I've been here at Sony Style. Many people have been coming to look at it. The Blocky seems a little bit brighter and more sensitive to movement than the Minnow HD. Um, if you kind of look at the video frame by frame, you can see that it, it kind of has poor exposure and it just it seems to take a really long time to adjust. I mean, it, it seems like it takes a, a long time to adjust to the correct exposure, which is something that if you have experienced a Mino HD, which is faster, so I think Sony may need to improve that. However, one of the pluses, as you saw before, is that it does have the ability to, you know, remove the battery and the uh, the SD or memory stick dual card, which is very important and very powerful. Many other flash camcorders do not have the ability to remove any kind of storage. They usually just have built-in storage. Different options uh, within the bloggy. You can shoot in 5 megapixel quality, 4 megapixel, or 3 megapixel, 2 megapixel, and VGA, which is really nice. I mean, some people would rather shoot in lower quality for more pictures. Then there's also 19, 20 by 1080, 30p, you know, frames per second video, and then you have 720 at 60 frames per second, which most people probably prefer. We found that the 1080 video at 30 frames per second was not as smooth as the 720 at 60 frames per second. Of course, then there is the 720p at 30 frames per second, and then VGA quality. You know, just for different sizes and so forth, quality. We also found that, um, I'm going to put it back on 1080 here, there's also face detection, and then you have other options, such as flicker reduction, the usual camera settings, such as beep and backlight, different themes, Let's see there's red and then blue, you know I love blue, um, English, you know, language settings, video out. We also like the format copy for the memory cards. Well, this is all standard stuff. And then, you know, clock settings. But all in all, it's pretty simple. We like the, uh, the zoom right here. But at the same time, it, it almost feels a little awkward to hold this camera. It just... 
not new. I like the other blocking model more, just because I'm, I'm more used to that, and I'll show you here. So here we are with the other uh, bloggy camcorder, which should not be ignored at all. It's actually a great one with 5X optical zoom. Let's go ahead and take a look. So as you can see, it's pretty much similar in specifications to the other blocky that has 1920 by 1080 HD video recording. But this is a little different because it has 5x optical zoom and um, has HDMI output. Um, some of the things we like about it is that it has great video quality, a great sounding mic, great colors, and um, you know it actually is a decent still camera. The zoom is very quick. But we were unsure about really the exposure. Hopefully, they'll be incorporating the G lens into the next generation. Um, the SD and Memory Stick Pro Duo is obviously a plus. People want SD. You can record and upload in a format that just works. I mean, it's MP4 and it's uh, somewhat Mac and PC friendly. Oh, well, I mean, at least for Mac, you know, it's definitely PC friendly, but apparently there's some issues with Mac. Um, the battery is a little low. But, um, you know, the, the steady shot is only 720p and VGA. It doesn't do 1080p. Um, the lens, there's, a, there's no lens, there's actually no hardware lens opening closing thing. It's just a lens cap, which is easy to lose. And the mic is mono, which is kind of bad, but, you know, it's it's okay. I mean, we would like to see stereo. There's no manual focus, which is a big turnoff for me. And low light is not the best. And the focus struggles in low light as well. But other than that, you know, I think that the uh, CM5 is an awesome HD camcorder. It's really good competitor to the Flip Mino HD. And... Uh,